this is what paradise must look like if it does. Welcome to the amazing island of Majorca. Today we'll discuss where to go, what to do, what to see, and what to skip if you're traveling with children. Do watch until the very end because we've learned some incredible things that are not mentioned in any other travel guides on YouTube. So unwind as we take you on a tour of this stunning island of Majorca. Welcome to Hotels and Cities, the channel that focuses on great places to visit and worthwhile travel destinations for you and your loved ones. Before we jump into today's video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon to always be updated on all things travel. Now let's get into it. An island off the coast of Spain is sandwiched between the Cerro de Tro Montana and the Chus de Levant mountain ranges is Mallorca, Spain. First, we'll take you to the capital, Hama Bay. Being one of the few round castles in Europe, Bellevue is a 14th century fortification perched on a hilltop covered with pine trees and overlooking the city below. We advise beginning your day early by hiking up to it. It also has a museum connected so that you may fill up yourself on the history of the castle, and also the capital after the 450 steps you've just ascended to the castle. At this point, we believe that you've earned a break, and San Juan de Sago is the ideal location to take it. An absolute must-try is the superb traditional Mallorcan pastry known as the Enzimata, which is served at this historic cafe in Palmas Old Town. After we've had all the food you need, we suggest dropping by Lasso, a medieval Roman cathedral. Due to its enormous size and more than 600 years of construction, the cathedral is practically impossible to miss. You can enter and view the largest rose window in the world for a nominal price of 7 euros. Be sure to attend Tapas Tuesday or Ruta Marciana if you're in Palma on Tuesday. Let us elaborate. It was created to encourage people to leave their homes on the least populated day of the week, and it's a great chance to see the ancient town. For between 2 and 3 euros, each establishment along the route gives a glass of beer or wine and a tapas dish. Baths from the 10th to the 12th centuries have recently been unearthed in Palma, which was once an Arab city known as Medina Mallorca. These baths can now be visited for a modest price. We were compelled to describe this amazing encounter in order to prevent significant FOMO. To complete our quick tour of Palma, we're going to the Royal Palace of La Amordina, which used to be the King and Queen's official Mallorcan residence. The entrance fee of 7 euros nicely captures the various artistic movements that have dominated the island's history. Regardless of your preferred beach, Mallorca will be able to meet your expectations. Sun gods and goddesses pay attention. It has over 300 beaches begging to be explored, and we're going to let you into our little secret, the best of the best. If you enjoy spending time in the sun, you're aware that swimming allows you to tan twice as quickly. And for this, the Cala Mesquita is the ideal place to be. Because the sea is so shallow, it is ideal for snorkeling, water sports, and tanning. If you start to feel puckish, the Viva Cala Mesquita Resort and Spa has numerous food alternatives and the accommodation prices are also very inexpensive. If you end up refusing to go, we would probably do the same. Calo del Moro, a blue flag beach, is our next stop. This indicates that the beach is absolutely magnificent and has complied with strict environmental health and safety regulations. Cliffs surround a beach, which can only be reached by a rocky walk. The ultimate beach retreat is just waiting to be found. Summer Adore National Park is the last on our list. The beach is indeed located inside a national park. There is only the beach and the sea. No noise, no developments. If you are seeking for accommodations inside a park, we suggest the Hotel Playa Madrago, which is only a 5-minute walk from the beach and has private balconies with views of the clear waters. If you don't use the water while you're in Mallorca, it may be considered a crime and boat tours start at just 11 euros. Crazy, huh? An outstanding experience is the daily sunrise dolphin watching cruise from Alcadilla, which leaves at the same time. It is possible to board a boat in the old town and skip the customary ground tour in favor of seeing the attractions from the water and truly obtaining that waterfront perspective you had been missing. Take it a step further and reserve a Catamaran Day excursion on the ocean. 
Prices start at 50 and go up from there depending on whether you want to add any additional activities to your trip. Activities include kayaking, paddle boarding, jet skiing, and snorkeling. Dragon Age Island is the finest location for these sports and you can expect to see short-beaked dolphins, barracuda, and even the occasional fin whale there. Returning to land, we're transporting you to Solia, a town located in the Valley of Oranges. Due to the mountains, this community in Mallorca's northwest was cut off. Several inhabitants left to work in France as its oranges were shipped there. After making their fortunes, they returned and constructed some of the most beautiful homes we've ever seen. You would have access to a private palace constructed in 1880. And we're convinced that visiting the Grand Hotel Soldier or even a 200-year-old Finca in the highlands named Kia Zork would be a once-in-a-lifetime adventure. Beautiful cafes and bars ring the Plaza de la Constitución, the city's central square, where you can sit and enjoy your iced tea while taking in the beautiful sights. If you want to travel around a town while trying to relax, you can ride a tram which passes right through the square. With the Sierra de Tramontana mountain range right outside your door offering hundreds of hiking routes and the option to hire a guide, if you're worried about getting lost, you're looking to be one with nature. You'll also be right at home. When you go back from your trip, we urge you to try Safabrica de Gelat's Fabled Orange and Lemon Sorbet. There are 40 different ice cream tastes to completely cleanse your palate if sorbet isn't your thing. Partygoers pay close attention because in addition to hotels, bars, nightclubs, and restaurants, Magaluf is also home to go-karting, tennis, and crazy golf. In front of the promenade, it also offers a beach where you may hire beach chairs or spend the day at a beach club. Saying so will imply that Magaluf comes to life at night. We should also add that it continues until the sun begins to rise again. This trip is absolutely packed with students, young people, and partygoers during the summer, all of whom are taking full advantage of the deep beverages and bar crawls on offer. The greatest party location on the strip, Mambo's Terrace, is definitely a must-see. Over the summer, it provides a variety of activities, including the Magaluf Full Moon Party and Jungle Invasion. And last but not least, BCM Mallorca is a necessity for the ultimate celebration because it draws tens of thousands of tourists from all over the world and features top DJs like Martin Garrix, Calvin Harris, Snoop Dogg, and Steve Aoki to name a few. This is the place to go if you want cake shoved right in your face. Now let's discuss the food, shall we? Because it is very much bountiful in Mallorca. If you're staying in Magaluf, you have the normal McDonald's, KFC, and Burger King for those 4 a.m. walking home cravings. But if you're seeking for inexpensive restaurants, we've made a startling find that is simply too good to keep to ourselves. Adrian Fastglass is the person you go to for the best dining experience. He offers a five-course midday tasting menu for about 40 euros because in his words, he wants to democratize fine dining. This is true despite though his Palma restaurant has a Michelin star and is located right there. Although many Mallorcan tourism hotspots cater to British visitors, we advise traveling outside of the island. If you want to experience Mallorca authentically, it will be well worth the effort. And lastly, it doesn't get more picturesque than this, Caspatro March. The restaurant genuinely appears as though it might fall into the ocean at any second, but it hasn't. For the best experience, we advise arriving as soon as possible. Giant plates of fish and other seafood, usually paired with local white wine, are what we're referring to. Because the tables are sometimes reserved weeks in advance, we strongly advise booking the restaurant before your flight. And that caps off our video on Mallorca, Spain. If you found this video interesting, make sure you click that like button and share this with your fellow travel buddies. Don't forget to scroll down to the video description for links to some amazing travel deals, discounts on accommodations, and useful travel gadgets. Also, if you want to be always updated whenever we have new content, click that subscribe button and the bell icon to always be on the loop. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Safe travels, everyone.